actually gathered the whole Royal Enfield crew and everyone that is responsible for the new <laughs> for the new bike. So, yo guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video. We are in Sardinia, Italy, for a Royal Enfield Himalayan event. Himalayan, Himalayan. Not really sure. We're gonna ask the people behind the scenes. Himalayan or Himalayan? If you are from India, yeah. I'm also gonna explore the hotel, explore the environment, and the Royal Enfield event. Yeah. Special thanks to Moto Mondo for sending me here. And just like that, our Italian cab driver is gone. And we are at the. I forgot the name. And as you can tell by the flag on the ground, it is kind of windy. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead inside. Huh? This is Lila. It's uh, the dog of the hotel. Lasha. <laughs> let's check out the room. Wait a minute. It's a duplex. Look at that. You gotta check it out over here. Oh, nice. Give me a whole house. What I got over here, look at that. That's the uh, Himalayan mountains from the top. That's also on the uh, on the bike itself. Yeah, Christoph, that is me. God damn it, these Italian doors out of the world. Ooh. Oh, yes. Look at that. Ooh. The black and yellow one over there. We got a big ass tent over there as well. And we got the beach over there. All right, we gotta check that out in a second as well. All right. Now, I am not your classic journalist, so for these press launches, these press launches, I record everything. I record the hotel room, I record the food, I give you guys the whole experience. So, uh, Smokey investigates. All right, new merch in the web shop, link below. Anyway, last video, I said this was like, to wash your feet, and somebody said, no, Smokey, it's to wash your butt crack. But look at that, the water splashes down. How is this ever going to touch your butt crack? Do you like spray it up with like your hand? How disgusting is that? That is just plain nasty if you put your butt crack above that. That's probably to wash your feet. Yeah. Straight out of my hotel room, the pool. Kinda chilly though. Might give it a dip later on, but probably not. I was hoping that would be the spa, but... Nope, 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 nope. Tonight we will also have dinner with the Himalayan Himalayan crew, the Royal Enfield crew. So they're gonna tell us what it's pronounced. Ooh, got lots of tent over here. We got the Hanley, if I'm correct, this is the Hanley Black over here. All right. Look at that, nice setup as well. All right. So tomorrow we'll be riding this bike, maybe another call, not really sure, for 150 kilometers. I was gonna say in the mountains in the back, but the mountains in the back is the Himalayans. We're gonna do the mountains over there. Maybe it's Sardinia. Investigates. So we got the uh, little brown one over here. Oh, very cool looking color as well. Ooh. And we got an inside look on the engine as well. Look at that. Have you ever looked inside of the engine of a Royal Enfield? Probably not. Well, you have done now. There's some oil in there. Ooh. Liquid cooling. Oh yeah, got the, got the piston, we got the piston going on over here, got some wiring, some electronics, <coughs> some electronics, all right, that is cool. We got the new Royal Enfield boots, probably Royal Enfield pants, is this Royal Enfield pants? I guess it is. We got the new merch, all right, we have something on our cover. I'm gonna uncover that one just yet, but wanna have a little peek here? No, no. Uh, before we head off to the beach, if there is a beach, I think there is a beach. I have no idea where I am, where I'm at. I'm in an island. Anyway, let's uh, head inside and see if there is some food. Because uh, yours truly, 
was a bit hungry. Ooh, we got the gray, we got the gray and the red one over here. Ooh, this is a Himalayan, Himalayan party over here going on. <laughs> this is a all Himalayans for the next three days. They even put Himalayan on the hotel walls, windows. Sorry, look at that. Built for all roads, built for no roads. Yeah. All right, well, boys, we find ourselves a trail here. Now, I'm not really sure if there's bears. There's bears in Sardinia. Sure, let's all hope not, but let's try and find the ocean. All right, look at that. We got the Himalayans right over there. All right, I do like that. Smokey proves. Very nice. This is some spectacular view. Royal Enfield, you guys did an awesome job. Look at that. And tomorrow we're gonna ride in these mountains. I'm, I'm pointing at the sea, it makes no sense. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go back to the hotel. I'm gonna walk around the place a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna have dinner with the Himalayan guys. A little presentation as well. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. You gotta love these tourist places in uh, April. It's like freaking ghost town here. Look at that. Hey, what's up, buddy? My name oh, Jesus! The bikes are getting prepped and checked for tomorrow. Oh, yeah! Gonna be a good time, though. What in the world is this? In my country, these things are called bitter balls. They're like fried they smell the same and inside there's some kind of meat but over here they put an olive into it why 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 i'm sure had experience of the original og 411 a great bike that we've all really enjoyed a bike that was built for all kinds of global travelers commuters and just got a really really calm follow so we hope that we've done it justice in this next generation. So first of all, we've got our lead designer, Steve Everett, from the UKTC. <laughs> um, at the back of the room there, we've got Antoine Borsic, who is also designing Today we are here to celebrate the original Himalayan 411 and to understand how it has evolved to the all new Himalayan. This uh, presentation is just going to give you a few of the salient points uh, during the design process without going into too much uh, very technical detail. Okay, navigation is in this bit, but what are the other elements? You don't know where to focus, same way in this also. Damn! Now it is not that the uh, food messed up my hair. This is actually another day because I got a little tipsy with the Royal Enfield guys yesterday and I forgot to end the video. But I got some good news. I'm gonna hook up the whole entire crew, design of the new Royal Enfield, the technical part, the accessory guys. I'm just gonna grab everybody by the neck and drag them to a motorcycle and they're gonna talk about it. Especially for you guys, and they're going to answer your questions. But it's better for your video. <laughs> German, what do you want? Dinner to serve. Right. Oh, so then, then we have to really... So some incentive to get really quick. Yeah. Well, yeah, now we're going like within five minutes, we're gone. So yeah, uh, behind me, I actually gathered the whole Royal Enfield crew and everyone that is responsible for the new, <laughs> for the new bike. So, so, first up, what's your name and what are you responsible for? My name's Nick. I work on the engine design team. I've been looking after cam drive, valve train, fueling and general integration of various systems with each other. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, my name is I can Steve, see Everett. Steve Everett. Everett. I'm the yeah. industrial design lead, uh, but essentially the architect of the general arrangement of this bike and the delivery of the industrial design side of it. It looks like a very intensive job as well. Thank you. My friend, what is your... Uh... Anton Borsik. Uh, I've helped Steve on the design. I've helped Curtis in the, the accessories department and Jagan on the the clocks. Jagan? All right. Yeah, I'm Curtis and I'm ultimately responsible for the product strategy of the accessories department. Ah, I got a good question for you coming up because I had some uh, accessory questions as well. Okay. What is your... Uh... Yeah, hi, I'm Jagan. I'm part of the product strategy. 
and uh, I am the product manager for the uh, Tripper Dash that you see ah, here. I have a very important question for you as well. Also. All right. So, Nick, if I can ask, what is the biggest change on this engine? We've gone from air cooled to water cooled, and part of that we needed to meet tighter emissions regulations, we needed to deliver more power. And ways for doing that, water cooling helps it make the engine run more efficiently. And we've been able to up the power, 23 horsepower up to 40. And so many systems work together to, to make that happen. Uh, double overhead cam, four valve head, drive-by-wire throttle. Yep. There's so many, but the biggest thing is going air cooled to water cooled now. Steve, if I can ask you, what is the most important thing that changed about this bike? Well, we changed all of it. All of it, all right. <laughs> I mean, we tried to keep the uh, original DNA of the bike, everything that the customer so loved about it. Uh, we've- I could uh, feel that, I could feel that riding that. today. We've totally yeah. retained that. You'll know from riding it that it's it's easy, it's dependable, it's neutral handling. Uh, those are all things we wanted to keep, but our customers were telling us they wanted a little bit more zip, a bit more power. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's This right. bike, you've ridden it, this really responds. It really this responds. This one begs yeah. you on. Um, but we've kept the low seat, we've got extra narrow standover, um, on the move it feels incredibly lightweight. It is, um, it is. So essentially it's really great for the novice rider, but if you've got a bit more skills it'll really reward you. That's the same, that's the same feeling I had. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, Steve. cool. Uh, I have a question for you as well. Sure. So why did you actually change the retro look to a very more modern look because the last one was like retro we wanted to get fresh markets the shape represents its function it's it's just a we designed the tool basically that's what i like that's what I, that's what i wanted to hear that's what i wanted to hear I'm just gonna a, <laughs> i'm just gonna ask that uh, so we have a question here from a gypsy soul 9495 uh, for some reason and they uh he asked why don't they give the customers an option on what accessories to fit on the bike pre-delivery example so i'm asking the uh, accessory men right here. Yeah, so that is something that we're actually looking into um, and it's part of our sustainability project because we don't want standard parts, you know, um, gathering dust in, in the garage. garages. Yeah. Um, it's something that we've already introduced uh, into the Indian market, but um, we're looking into, ex you know, expanding that uh, worldwide. Perfect. I think Gypsy Soul is really going to like that. Yeah. So we have a brand spanking new dash and we have our friend here and he's going to explain everything about it. Not everything, don't, yeah, we don't want to spend, I know I know. we have seen the presentations who have been talking about it for like 30 minutes and a lot of change, a lot is new. What is the highlights you want to say to the yeah. customers like? Definitely, so there's a whole new evolution in the new Himalayan, right? Um, so we have been all into the analogish um, dash. But yeah. With this, yeah. we have come up with the new TFT dash. This is the first TFT dash uh, from the Royal Enfield. Yet, we have um, uh, been honest while developing this to remain uh, and retain the brand ethos of Royal Enfield by keep, keeping it quite simple and elemental. Um, the design itself is, you know, it says for itself. It's quite round and it's very simple. You can and have it analog as like an analog. Yeah. I think it's called passion. Well, uh, so of tropical or something, there's like, you can change it. <laughs> there's a funny name in it, but I can't really remember what name it was, but. Okay. I think no, it's but like anyways, we just call it. We got. We don't use very fancy names. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's just an analog look and a digital yeah. look. So we we still have the analog look, wherein you get all the rider information. We have retained the needle and stuff like that. Um, so each and every element on this dash is very carefully designed. Um, each and element has got its own visual priority. Unlike other TFTs, you don't get all the elements or all the information right at your face. Rather, it gives you the right information at the right time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that serves a purpose, that gives you uh, motivation to ride, and it actually, uh, you know, gives you all the information that you want and nothing you don't. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and I want to highlight that this is the world's first circular display. To oh, have, yeah, uh, that's right. To have Google have Maps or, uh, yeah, full map. Full full map. run by the Google Maps engine. That is cool. So it has got the Google Maps in it, so... People are going to like that for sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome, you thank you. Gonna enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Another question, we have uh, Elian Barriera and he asks, asks them if I can get one for free. Steve, can you get one for free? Yeah, if you can catch me in the next 10 minutes, I'll give you one. 
All right, that sounds pretty fair to me. Come here, you stupid! <laughs> no. I, I meant your, uh, I meant your subscriber. Oh, my subscriber. Okay, I'm really sorry about that, uh, Eliniana Barriera, but it's not going to work. Schischast, Schischast asked, uh, any news about the Scram 450? Steve, you wanna? What's that? What is a Scram 450? They asked. The Royal. What's a Scram 450? We've got a Scram 11. He must. You're, he must be mistaken. He must mean that. Somebody did say it is set to launch in India in August. Oh. So by the one. end of this year, oh, yeah, you might okay, get that. that. No, I can't say anything about that. Oh, I can, I can right. neither confirm nor deny that that bike <laughs> uh -huh. exists. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> That's a good answer. I like it. <laughs> That's an awesome answer. <laughs> and then we have a uh, last question here of Pruso Kit. God damn these names. Uh, please ask them why they didn't give the cruise control, even though it's right by wire. Okay, so it is right by wire, but all of that work requires a lot of calibration. We'd already done a lot of firsts on this bike, and you know maybe that's for future. All right, awesome answer. Anyway, thank you all guys so much. We had a lovely day, and now it's time to eat. Excellent. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, I'm eating dinner again. Sorry, there's too much food here. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked today's video. We are here with Motor News. German Oms. <laughs> you. German Oms from Motor News as well, uh, from Belgium. Uh, local colleague. So, yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks again, Royal Enfield and Motor Mondo, of course, for uh, sending my dumb ass over here. I uh, want to thank everyone involved. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ride safe. See ya! If you want to know all about YouTube, just go to smoketube.com and if you want to see the next video, it is right over here. If you want to see my most favorite video, it is right over there. And subscribing is like, done over there somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Yeah, yeah. Just click on that one and that one.